Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon here and I have another reaction to Arrow Season 5 to bring to you. This is episode number 5, we're on 5x5 five five. Um, and well, you know, the I think the scene is really set for this episode with uh, Mad Dog having been captured by Tobias Church. I figure this episode is going to revolve around Oliver trying to get him back, um, the fallout from Diggs' breakout and... Um, who knows what else we could potentially run in for. Um, I think we're overdue for a Prometheus cameo, um, even if it's just something to maybe learn a bit more about the person, whoever they are, uh, and probably some tie-ins to, you know, the Bratfer stuff, still going after Kovac. Um, and, you know, now that Oliver is, an officially, is officially a member of Bratver, I mean, they may have him work some other missions, I'm not sure, he might just go straight for, you know, uh, Kovac himself or Kovic. I can't remember what his name was. I'll have to write it down, I think. Um, Mr. No, Mr. Kovar. That's where it was, Kovar. Um, I did write it down. See, I, I do stuff. I do actually take notes. Um, but sometimes I just forget to look at them. Um, because I think I know the answer when actually I don't really. Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting to see really where we go next. Um, you know... Oliver's still got all of the mayoral stuff as well, um, you know, to figure out what's going on. And, uh, yeah, I don't think there's much else that I can really do to introduce this episode. It was, last episode was weird. It was like, a lot happened, but not really a lot happened to really talk about, you know? It was kind of like, it was almost like just an episode to, to move the story forward. There was nothing of particular interest, and that's not to say it was a bad episode. It was just, let's move the story along and, you know, give a bit more emphasis on the team, give a bit more of a background on, you know, the Bratva stuff. It did the job it was supposed to do. So, yeah, we're going to jump in. Before we do, I want to say a big thank you to my Patreon super supporters, Frank Tremel, Karen Abel, Nick Walters, Damon Smallwood, Michael Y, Mr. Greg 89 Nightwolf37, and Ollie Brown. So, without further ado, let's jump in and let's see what happens. Yep. It's fear. Fear of that pain. Of what that pain brings. What happens next? Okay. Not sure where we're going here. Huh? Oh, you're kind of cute too, and I feel sorry for you kind of way. <laughs> Where's Church? Yeah, who wants to know? The green guy. <laughs> Where's Church? Look out! Oh, jeez. Those, uh... Those robes are really... They're, they're, they're a good defense. Tell me you've had better luck than I have had. We might have narrowed it down to the northwest part of the city. <sighs> yeah, so now we're looking for a needle in a slightly smaller haystack. I will run an algorithm cross-referencing traffic cams with probable locations. Hey, oh. Dig. This place just got really crowded. Already one member away from having the uh, old team back. Your base of operations? Yes. yes. Who are yours? My father's dead. My mother and sister. Both dead. Bratva. Yeah. Only family you have. Yeah. Through Star City's docks, I can move thousands of tons. What he's learning is. I'm working on the biggest consolidation of drug enterprises anybody has. Well, he's learning his uh his plans now. This green arrow to get out of the picture. Little man, that grave ain't gonna dig itself. How about you do the digging yourself? Oh, you think I'm afraid to get my hands dirty? Huh? Oh. There he is. Nice. Even after 24 hours of torture, he can still fight. Okay, well, if that's true, I think I know a way we can turn this to our advantage. I'm all ears. Oliver, I know a guy, very specific skill set. I think he could be here in 24 hours. <laughs> I have a very specific set of skills. He's called Liam Neeson. Lewis, I'm going to need to hit you back. 
Oh, Prometheus. Gonna let me see the whole city. I told you to stay away from the Green Arrow. I don't work for you. That's Michael Dorn. And the Green Arrow found me. You kidnapped his protege. Michael Dorn's voicing Prometheus. And your last. After getting threatened by a freak, oh. I hired one of my own. This was your second warning. There won't be a third. Thought you hired me to kill the Green Arrow. Nope. You're gonna kill the mayor. Oh no. Oh no. Why are you asking? Because I'm trying to figure out how hard I'm gonna have to work to win you over. <laughs> Don't tell me they're gonna strike up some kind of romance. That'd be. I am. Ugh. Vastly. And. We were transporting a prisoner. One who had information we needed. Intelligence officers couldn't get it out of him, so... He tried. He I beat him. I tried to do it my way. He put a beat on him. I've been thinking a lot about so, this. Particularly since you've been on the other side of that beat. He's got a history of rash decisions, thinking that he knows oh, best. That's my life, man. Politics is the art of the real. Oh dear. Well, that was fun. You made Cullen squirm. Guy's a career politician, just needs to know where to apply the pressure. Oh, why do I get a feeling that there's about to be an attack? Those security guards are gonna die. Yup! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Um, pretty sure, Oliver, you should have seen that coming. Why are you not wearing a bulletproof vest? Her Oliver Queen was pronounced dead. That's he was me. wearing a bulletproof jacket. In his too short life, Oliver Queen experienced great hardship. But he came through the Quinn's the mayor now. He really didn't say anything that nice about you when you were Yeah. <laughs> Probably didn't deserve it. Sorry about the suit. What? We haven't been properly introduced. Okay, so he was a decoy. There is old saying in Russian. You can maybe not Russian, but it still works. <laughs> no problem, beautiful woman cannot fix. We'll go talk to her before I do. Uh oh. Oh no. This is the way some brat for treat. Why don't you just start? You know, get some air. You sure? I think I heard on the call he was looking for you. I'm sure. I'll be fine. He's about to have a run in with some of his brat for brothers. You know, it's why you're struggling as mayor, and it's probably why you won't call that girl. That's not the reason. I mean, he's dead right now, so he can't call her. Felicity moved on. Oh, shit. Does he know about Billy? He didn't know. Yeah, he doesn't know about Billy. Uh, earlier today, I met with a detective who just joined the ACU. Wake up the team. We don't have much time. All geared up. Oliver didn't bust me. Hey, he Spartan's back. So what's up? You ready to move up? Hopefully, I think I saw a helmet in the background. Thing any of you need right now Hopefully, it's better than the season four helmet. When it comes to guilt and recrimination, the line forms behind me. Trust, I've not even paid attention to Oliver's arrow outfit. I... But I'm wearing this suit again because I yeah. think it's a path to redemption. It's the JV squad. The JV squad. Oh, I like that helmet a lot more. Badass. That is such a better helmet. Uh oh, they weren't paying attention. Oh, that's 
That's an RPG. Jon Snow is holding an RPG. I've got these two. Go back up, Mr. Church. Oh shit. Ah right? <laughs> I can't trust anyone in this show now. Nice helmet. I feel like that's a little inside. Hey guys, look, we got a helmet. We know you didn't like the last one. Oh. You know, why don't you just load one of those arrows with like, um, some kind of tranquilizer. Easier to bring him down that way. Okay. Church has been taken down. First of all, I would like to apologize. Victor wanted to give you a proper gift. Uh oh. It was a trap. I'm guessing that's not you. <laughs> that's a nice knife. Oh. Maybe I keep it after I kill you. This doesn't concern you. Actually, it does. Oh! Oh! Okay. Have a nice night. You can tell your boss I expect the other half of my feet within the hour. Is he there protect to protect all of them? Oh, that's how he met him. You still like gambling a bit too much. What do you have for me? Uh oh. I took the bullets from Air Queen. Was Christopher Chance? Felt like his work. She gonna find out about his Bratva connection? Really? Went through the database, looking for details on Chance's past offs. Came across this little beauty. You recognize your boy? That was taken five years ago, when Oliver Queen uh -huh. was supposedly stranded on a deserted island. She's gonna learn about Bratva. And here we go. <laughs> it's fear of pain that gets you. I can give him to you. I can give you his name. You would be the only person who knows. I think he already knows. You really should have bargained. No, you should have bargained before you told them. Yeah, we are. It's a shame. I like Tobias Church. Yeah, it was kind of a shame. I, I actually really liked Tobias as a villain. Um, his kind of cool, calm demeanor, his gravelly voice, you know, his confidence. That's something I really like in a villain. Um... Not when they're arrogant, they're just confident. Um, and I guess in the end, you know, his own words came back to haunt him. It's not pain that causes people to break. It's fear of pain. And, you know, you saw him there, that he was ready to... He gave up all of his name. Um, though, rather sillily, he didn't make the deal first. He should have said, if I give you his name, you let me go free. Then again, chances are the Prometheus still would have killed him. But still, it would have been smart to at least try and make the deal first, rather than give up your only bargaining chip in the hopes that he lets you go. Um, so, yeah. So, one thing that I'm... Firstly, Michael Dawn is voicing Prometheus. Now, I highly doubt that Michael Dawn is actually Prometheus himself. Um... Because Michael Dawn is about, he's probably close to his 60s now. Um, he played Worf in Star Trek, um, as well as Worf's grandfather in one of the movies before The Next Generation came out, um, or during Next Generation even. Um, and he's got a really, really smooth voice, and so, you know, he makes perfect for a voiceover. Um, but I can't see him being the person under the mask 
um, because again, I don't think he would suit the role. So again, I'm still questioning who it could be um, and why it is they've got it in for, for the Green Arrow. Um, now, the stuff with Bratva, I'm trying to think about how that can be used to unravel Oliver from his mayoral position because, you know, right now, Bratva and him being involved, sure, yeah, you could say that's a bit bit of a scandal because Bratva are probably seen as being some kind of a gang, but it was in the past, and unless he did something really bad, you know, it wouldn't be enough. So he must have done something really bad as a Bratva member. Um, you know, or maybe she's using it to be like, well, you lied about being on the island. What else have you lied about? Maybe she'll go digging deeper into other, you know, parts of his life back five years ago. Um... But again, she can't be trusted. Journalists just can't be trusted, you know? Um, Oliver knows about Billy, which, you know, it was nice to see him kind of take a mature route and say, you know, he's fine. He hopes Felicity is happy. Um, although, again, I know that they still end up together. I just don't know exactly when that comes about. I know Crisis on FX is, their marry- is when they get married, but I don't know if that's the crossover this season or next season. I'd probably bet next season because... Uh, you know, that it seems for them to go from being separate to them getting married in the space of half a season would be a bit much. So um, I love the new Spartan helmet and I love the fact that they kind of made a nod to it, you know, in the episode. It was it's far better designed than the old one. Um, you know, the old one, they actually just tried to make it into like a really short form of a Spartan helmet and it was... It just didn't work. It wasn't a good look. Um, and, and to that point, I haven't even really noticed Oliver's arrow outfit. Um, I don't even remember if he's still got the cut-off arms. I don't think he has. I think they've gone back to the full-length um, arm outfit. It's not really something I've been paying attention to, if I'm being honest. I've been paying more attention to the story. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, Tobias is down, so we're left with Prometheus to be the main villain. Um I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of political scandal over the next few episodes with whatever the Bratford stuff comes out. We'll see a lot more of the Bratford stuff, I guess, and that'll tie in to the current day events. Um, And I guess trying to figure out who Prometheus is is going to be a big thing. Um, And we might get some, like, villain of the day day kind of episodes. Um, That tends to be, you know, the first five episodes sets up the season's characters, you know, maybe gives us an insight into who the big bad villain's going to be. Then there's a stretch of five to ten episodes where the villain is working in the background. There is um, villain of the day kind of episodes that, you know, aid the main story along, but don't directly relate to it. And then the last five to ten episodes tend to directly relate to the main villain and their dastardly plans so, um, yeah, we're about to enter into that stage, I think, of those individual villains popping up and, you know, us having smaller stories that are going to relate to the bigger story overall. So, uh, yeah, it was a really good episode. I enjoyed it. Hope you all did, too. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you for the next one.